What up YouTube, it's me, it's me, it's your favourite Steve, and this is my charity shop haul of the week. What up YouTube, how you doing? Um, yeah, this is my charity shop haul of the week, it's a bit pants, um, I'm not going to lie, but I like to share the bad with the good, as you know. Um, I've had worse, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I've had worse over the years, but this one's pretty pants. Um, I don't know what it was um, on Saturday. I think that I'd got set in my head that I didn't want to pick up any clothing this weekend. I've got a pretty, I've got quite a lot of clothing to list. And I'm getting a mannequin this week. It's definitely coming. It has been dispatched. So I'm getting a mannequin this week. And I was like, Right, I'm not going to list any more clothing until I get the mannequin and see what it looks like, see what the clothing looks like on the mannequin. Um, you know, to get better photos, no point me, if I've got other stuff to list, there's no point me, um, you know, doing crap photos of clothing if I'm getting the mannequin coming and I've got a light set up as well that I'm going to set up soon. So yeah, anyway, I'm jabbering on. So this week it wasn't the best. Um, I think I was getting back into my routine of not looking through clothing racks. And also it was a bit pants. Um, I didn't get to go to Wensfield, which is the, normally where I go to on a Saturday. Um, I went to Wolverhampton and Bilston. But this was after going to two pretty... God, what, there's seven charity shops in Bilston. About seven charity shops in Wolverhampton. And this is all I picked up. But yeah, there's some more bits and bobs in here. I'll go through it, tell you what I spent, tell you what I think I'm gonna get. So all right, well, let's get rid of the crap first. Right, um, I actually put a photo on the Tat Chat group. Um, it wasn't of these two bags, but there was these other like little furry animal things that looked like Sylvanian family. Um, yeah, it looked like the Sylvanian family kind of material, if you know what I mean. Um. But they weren't Sylvanian family, they were was it pocket pets, I think it was. Um yeah, these these come out of the same charity shop as them. Um the Sum Sums I picked up because I know some Sum Sums you can get some pretty good money. Um and for some reason I thought I'd well I knew I'd get more than one ninety nine for Shaggy and Scooby. Um not that much more. I'm gonna shoot for like eight quid on them. Um the Sum Sums again you know, they average about three quid each, so I'm just gonna bundle them up. It cost me three fifty for the bag. Um so I'm gonna go for you know you know the two mice from the two mice from Cinderella, Aladdin and Jasmine, is it Jack Skellington and um I can't remember the elephant's name off that film. <laughs> Them when they're in the kid's head. I can't remember inside out, that's it. Um so I'm just gonna bundle them up. So it's three fifteen to eighteen really. I'll bundle them up into three bundles of six pound each. Um next this is a bit of a fail. Um the only reason why I picked it up, it costs two quid, it looks vintage. Um those kids are probably in their fifties now. Uh but yeah, I've tested them. One of the walkie talkies you can hear me on the well, me and Shell tested a minute. One of the walkie talkies you can hear the person on the other end, the other one you can't. So the one you can talk through and hear, but the other one you can't. Um, it's a bit crap. Um, but yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Could be a thing of chucking it in the bin. But yeah, um, cost two quid. I don't know. They're not even going for that much when I looked it up. It was more of a it was more of a thing that I thought um I thought they'd be worth something because of how old they look, but it's not. So they might end up in the bin. Um these this is how desperate I was the weekend. Um these are all mini egg mugs, um they cost me fifty P each. I think I can make about twelve or fifteen quid out of them. I just thought Easter's coming. You know what I mean? Um, maybe someone's going to want a bunch of mini meg, mini meg, mini egg um, mugs. Yeah, just one of them again. Um, 
I was just desperate and I saw I saw a loud these mugs and went that'll turn into money won't it but yeah again just a crappy weekend um, next uh, I was happy about this it looks like a normal parrot but it's a phoenix ladies and gentlemen um, if you saw uh, my video a few weeks ago about the Harry Potter not a few weeks ago a few months ago about the Harry Potter plush I still haven't sold mine ads I'd just pick one up before, after me, and he sold his. But I'm going. I've, I've been shooting for thirty-five quid on mine. Um, Hagrid's dog. Uh, yeah, I've been shooting for thirty-five quid. This one doesn't go for as much. It goes for about twenty. Um, but I think it's a phoenix. I think it's the phoenix of one of the films. I don't know. I'm not good with my Harry Potter knowledge, but yeah, that cost me three ninety-nine. It should turn into twenty quid. Um, next, the Trivial Pursuit um, Disney version. I picked up a brand new one of these. So I, I never pick up board games. Um, I just I had a bad experience with board games when I first started doing re well, not bad experience. When I first started doing reselling, you know, watching Nick's channel, Nick was doing board games, and I just. Yeah, I started buying board games. Some of them went for all right, and then it got to a point where I was always missing parts out of certain board games and stuff like that. But I did see this the weekend. New I'd got brand new forty quid. Um, I have gone through it, had a look. Um, all the bits are there. Um, it cost me four forty nine, and that should turn into twenty quid. Right, and then these two bad boys. These both cost me nine ninety nine each. Um, I'll just show you the one, obviously. Um, it's a daylight therapy lamp. If you don't know what this is, um, my wife, my wife's actually already got one, so I knew to go and pick it up. Um, they're, they're for people that suffer with something called sad. Now, my wife does it. My wife's got one, and she'll shine it in her face, and then listen to Avicii. Imagine she's on a beach. Um, yeah, they're, they're these lights that shine kind of the light, the, like kind of sunlight in your face, and apparently it's meant to make you, you know, seasonal affective disorder. Kind, I don't know. You know, it's people that get sad in the winter. I don't want it to make it sound as simple as that, but that, yeah, it's people that get sad in the winter and then they get these UV rays in their face to make them feel better. Each to their own. <laughs> as I said, my wife does it as well. But each to their own. Uh, but yeah, uh, 25 quid for both of them, hopefully. So yeah, it's not that bad, you know. I've got the 25 quid each on the sad lamps, 20 quid on the Trivial Pursuit, 20 quid on the Phoenix. Um, but yeah, just uh, obviously the amounts I've been picking up lately from charity shops, um, this wasn't the best. Um, also, I've got a car boot haul coming this week. Um, the same with the car boot haul, but with the car boot haul, there's a lot of stuff that I've never picked up before, so I'll show you that as well. Um, just a lot of stuff where, because I was out and it cost me 16 quid there and back um, to go to the car boot, I ain't leaving the car boot with nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? If it's cost me 16 quid, I will get something from that car boot. So I walked around for like, two hours trying to find things um, but yeah it's the same thing with this like with those sad lamps they were literally just a last um, a last ditch buy as I was leaving town um, I saw him in the shop and I went sod it, take a risk because I knew how awful like, what I'd picked up that weekend was but yeah um, so yeah you know I'll get some money from this and it fills up a few listings but for now Peace out, stay safe, stay beautiful, and I will see you tomorrow in my next video. Bye-bye.